This is the pattern for the sink. And you just simply follow your instructions. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is cut this out with scissors, place this on my sink, and tape it down, and then mark the outline with this paint marker. Okay, this is my cutout pattern, and this, this is where all the planning pays off. You can see this bowl design will cover everything that I already have and make a nice, uh, I guess, even perimeter. So there's plenty of room for me to cut out uh, the granite. So. So what I'm doing is I laid my pattern down and I'm just uh, taping it down. And then what I'll do is, is uh, mark it. And I have a paint marker here. Then I'm going to go and mark the perimeter of this. And then we'll cut it out. Okay, I'm about to cut this granite. What I have is a diamond cutting bit on my grinder here. And I've got some protection from the spray. I've got my mask. I have my glasses I'm going to put on. And then we have water. So let's just see how it goes. One other important thing is I have the granite supported on these 2 by 2s And this runs underneath uh, the granite here. Okay. I had filmed how I cut out this granite using my angle grinder and this bit right here. This is the only bit that I use. This is a skill saw four and a half inch diamond bit and um, it works awesome. I was really surprised how fast it cuts this stuff. Basically what I did was mark the outline on my pattern. Uh, of my pattern on to the mark the um, <clears throat> granite. Okay. Once I had my line, I then put this in my angle grinder, and then I cut like this at a slight angle. I'm not totally vertical like this. I cut it at a slight angle, and also I stayed back approximately three eighths to half of an inch from my mark line. Okay, if that makes sense.
And that completes the installation of our new bathroom sinks. We um, bought some new faucets to go along with it, and these are really nice. Have some really nice Kohler uh, sinks, and these are Peerless faucets. Um, I was surprised how easy it was to cut the granite. One thing I learned is there's no way I would do that in my house. So if there's any way possible, take your granite off and take it outside to cut it. And you can cut it with just a simple $8 diamond grinding wheel uh, that you get at your local hardware store. You do need to use water when you're cutting this granite just to keep the dust down and makes cutting faster and smoother. Anyway, I hope this uh, inspires you to redo your kitchen. I'm sorry, your bathroom, and thanks for watching this video.